Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a great pleasure to be here, and thank you very much, um, uh, Chair, for uh, the warm welcome. Uh, as you just heard, I'm Peter Estlin, uh, the Lord Mayor of London. Uh, and in that role, I am an ambassador uh, for the UK's uh, financial and professional services, spending about a, a third of my time during the year uh, visiting uh, overseas international partners. Uh, and I'm delighted uh, to be here in Tokyo to discuss uh, really the relationship between our two cities uh, and the long uh, and natural partnership uh, that we have had between the UK uh, and Japan, continuing to bring the benefits to both of our countries, uh, particularly uh, through education. Now, during my time uh, as Lord Mayor, uh, I live and work uh, in the Mansion House, uh, which is an 18th century um, listed building. It was actually built in 1739. But it's right uh, in the heart of the city of London. Uh, now, although that paints uh, a, quite a, a sort of quaint picture of, of British life, uh, it is very much uh, an international uh, location. Because if I was to uh, exit the mansion house uh, and walk north about five minutes, uh, I would come across the Bank of Japan, uh, housed in a 19th century uh, building called Basildon House. And if I were to walk about three minutes east uh, of the mansion house, I would come across uh, the Japanese Bank of International uh, Cooperation uh, in one of the modern office buildings uh, in the city. So when it comes to uh, Japan, we are very much neighbours um, uh, as well as business partners. Uh, in looking at the financial services, uh, it, particularly the relationship uh, between uh, our, our two countries, um, the UK's financial and professional services are uh, our largest export to Japan. Uh, and more than 65 uh, Japanese uh, financial companies are based uh, in the city of London. All of which reflects on the long and prosperous uh, partnership that dates to Japan's industrialization in the 19th century, which the City of London uh, financiers were called upon to provide uh, capital. And it's from those historical roots that we continue to innovate uh, and develop uh, the relationship that we have today. None more so than in the emerging industry of fintech. In the UK, uh, fintech now employs about 75,000 people, um, many of whom are based uh, in the city of London. Uh, and it is a financial uh, business that generates about £7 billion uh, of income for the UK economy. And the fintech industry now in in attracts more investment into the UK than anywhere else uh, in Europe. And that's very much thanks to a welcoming regulatory environment, uh, favourable government policy, uh, but also the ecosystem that exists uh, around the fintech community involving all of the major players. Now there are a small number of Japanese uh, fintech startups have set up in, in London, uh, including uh, Dorming and Equity X. And in Japan, such firms as Revolut and World First have entered here into the marketplace. But I believe there is the prospect for more collaboration between uh, the City of London and Tokyo. And that's why I have uh, made my visit here, and particularly to uh, work with the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. But tonight, specifically, we will be meeting uh, with a group of um, fintech, uh, Japanese fintech companies uh, to discuss what opportunities exist as well as challenges uh, to the market. Now in London, uh, we have, as I said, strong links with the Japanese megabanks uh, and can help the industry develop uh, their UK networks to help them find uh, property but also introduce them to the professional services firms, legal recruitment uh, and the other administrative services. But the most, uh, I think the most uh, exciting opportunity uh, is around asset management. Uh, and that is an opportunity that we've been discussing extensively today. 
Now, the UK is the second largest uh, asset manager uh, sector in the world, with over a third of our business in asset management uh, being derived from our international uh, clients overseas. And we have a great depth of, of expertise and talents, with some 100,000 people uh, working in the sector, um, with particular expertise in, in, in areas like pensions. <coughs> So it's an area uh, where we continue to develop uh, and innovate, but on the grounds or on the platform of our historical uh, strengths. Now, many UK uh, asset managers are already active in the Japanese market, including uh, Algebras and Accenture and Janice Henderson, uh, Legal and General, uh, and Schroders. In fact, my very first engagement uh, here in Tokyo today uh, was with uh, a range of Japanese uh, and British asset managers to hear really the progress um, in, in developing the market uh, here in Japan. And I hope very much that my visit leads to a deeper uh, asset management relationship between London and Tokyo. A relationship that continues to grow uh, through an agreement that was signed uh, late in 2017 with the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. And that MOU focused on three things. Firstly, uh, to increase the financial sector cooperation between our two countries. Now, whether that's in meetings or public forums, uh, or, or really just sharing expertise. Uh, and as an aside, one of the commitments uh, that I made to Government Kawiki uh, this afternoon is that we will look to second uh, or have a secondee from the Metropolitan Government uh, here but, and have them seconded to London uh, for a period of time. But the, the relationship uh, between us is already sharing some fruits. My predecessor, Charles Bowman, uh, journeyed to the Japan uh, last year after signing uh, the me memorandum with a strong asset management uh, delegation. <coughs> Secondly, uh, the City of London Cooperation uh, organised a visit and programme uh, for Governor Kuiki uh, last October, uh, and further officials uh, came in January uh, 2018, with meetings throughout the city, uh, the London Stock Exchange uh, and the Investment Association. Thirdly, um, both I and the Chairman of Policy and Resources uh, in the Corporation uh, participated in a financial dialogue with Governor Koiki, looking at how we can, uh, between us, uh, help develop uh, the asset management uh, marketplace here in uh, Tokyo. The second part of the MOU uh, is really to develop that future cooperation, uh, to promote um, aspects like environment, social uh, and governance investment, including green finance. Such investment could not be more important, uh, and I think both Japan and the United Kingdom have been affected uh, by climate change uh, and pollution. And as world leaders in green finance, the UK is in a perfect position uh, to encourage greater development in this area. And since signing the MOU, uh, a former Lord Mayor and colleague of mine who heads the Green Finance Initiative, Sir Roger Gifford, uh, has been liaising uh, with uh, colleagues here in Tokyo. And in fact, uh, he will be here uh, again um, uh, uh, in a month's time, a couple of months' time, uh, as part of uh, uh, a Green Finance Seminar. Now, the London Stock Exchange uh, Group uh, announced uh, a, a closer relationship uh, here in Tokyo as well with a Japanese uh, advisory group who will look to enhance and share capital markets experience uh, including with the Green Finance Initiative. And I met with them uh, at lunch today to get ideas, uh, as well as some encouragement in my meetings with the regulators, uh, particularly encouraging us um, as a, uh, an agent provocateur, as one might say, to encourage regulatory development um, here uh, in Tokyo. Uh, and I'm going to be looking forward to hosting that advisory group uh, in July uh, back in London. The final part of the MOU between uh, the Metropolitan uh, Government and the City of London is though through education. Uh, and you've heard, uh, obviously, from 
uh, the professor about the relationship uh, with uh, CAS, uh, 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 and that is an excellent uh, initiative. Because we should never forget that these financial strengths, uh, which have been mentioned today, are supported by world-class universities and business schools, not least uh, your one here, but also the City University of London. And as rector of that university, uh, I'm proud of how much it contributes to London's growth through research, through training, uh, and ensuring a ready supply of eager talent to move into the uh, asset management marketplace, or for that matter, into fintech uh, or, or any of the other uh, emerging uh, and strengthening business areas. So it's an intellectual hub of the world's premier financial centre and ranks uh, second in Europe for its impact on the real world business practitioners and policy makers. So alongside the City of London Corporation, the City University of London was delighted to be able to support Global Financial City Tokyo. And that program is very much to develop the city's financial sector. So the MOU we signed promises collaboration across education as well as business. And it is a welcome next step in a long-term and natural partnership between the UK and Japan. So ladies and gentlemen, the UK continues to turn towards the world to build on its historic relationships uh, with countries like Japan in seeking to deepen its ties to improve business relationships and to work in partnership with some of the most driven and passionate workforces across the world. And I think the MOU between the City of London and Tokyo Metropolitan Government demonstrates the depth of relationship we seek. And collaboration across education, uh, big social issues like climate change, as well as business, are, are really important uh, issues for us to address. And they are ones that I will be using every moment of my trip uh, here to Tokyo uh, to encourage collaboration uh, and to develop the relationship uh, between uh, the two countries. So thank you very much. Uh, and I've agreed to take uh, questions. Um, I will apologize. Uh, I have very poor uh, Japanese language, <laughs> um, that much. Uh, so if the questions could be in English, otherwise um, we will have them translated. But thank you very much.